think about the summer. We're already in fall and the days are getting shorter, it's getting colder and so forth. But think back to the summer when we had that period of almost two months of really beautiful weather. You remember that? It was sunny every day and you felt like being outside. If you had a Saturday during that period when you had no yard work to do, no school work to do, no, no work to your regular job to do, and you were going to go to, let's say, Owens Beach, right? Down, in, down by, by Puget Sound. You went at 10 o'clock in the morning, you're going to spend four or five hours there on the grass, just enjoying the water and so forth. You take your family with you. What do you suppose you would need to have with you to make it through those five hours? In addition to suntan lotion and so forth. Maybe a picnic, like snacks or something to drink? I think maybe so, yes. Some, some, a picnic, some <coughs> picnic supplies. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, well, I agree with you completely, and I'm going to share with you m some information about myself, my presenting self, my perceived self, and my desired self based on the picnic basket idea. <laughs> So here's a picnic basket. Because I tend to be sort of rebellious, I didn't use the regular kind of container that we might have used, although we've all had, had our own ways of approaching this. With respect to my presenting self, the idea of the presenting self is it's what other people, or what I think other people see of me, right? So I wrote to my Facebook, friends last night, because I had almost forgotten this entirely, and said, I'm going to give a presentation to students in the class tomorrow morning at 740. Could you send me one word that describes me? Can you help me out? So they did this. Now, naturally, they might not have been totally honest, because it's not anonymous. But they did respond. I also got some words from my wife. You may be able to tell the difference between her words and theirs. I'm going to run through these briefly and I'll pass them around. I have little photographs of the people who gave them. One person said sincere, and she also added a second word, dedicated. Another person said authentic, studious, generous, honest, pedantic. Pedantic is not necessarily a positive thing. Pedantic means sort of like instructional, but in a forceful way, sometimes not warm, inspiring, insightful, reserved, cultured, joyful, fair, diplomatic, authentic, kind, earnest, multilingual, articulate, inspirational, Christ-like, I think that was a person who is, who is Christian herself, and I think she probably would have said that everyone is Christ-like. Insightful, advocate, humble, integrity, inspiring, kind, studious, love fine music, brilliant, playful, thoughtful, earnest, cultured, indefatigable, focused, tense, and theoretical. So that's a lot more than probably I ever will be. If I could be most of those things, I, I would be happy. But the, apparently for some people, that is how I am perceived. That's my presenting self. My perceived self has many ingredients. I regard myself as being active, sort of like this helicopter which has bent blades on it. But I would say active and Technological. 
technologically curious. This is a digital audio recorder. You've seen that I have a lot of technological stuff with me. And if I, if I didn't have it, I wouldn't feel as able to be myself as I, as I am with them. So I have that element of my perceived self. I do love music. It, it inspires me. It makes me joyful. It makes me think. It provokes me. So that's a part of me also. I tend to be analytical and tend to have reminiscences. This is the slide rule that I used in high school in my physics class, which of course is, is close to being precise, as, about as close as you can get without being digital. That's meant something to me. I tend to be loyal. I come back to friends and come back to ideas that I believe in. So I have this boomerang to suggest coming back. busy most of the time, so you've heard the expression that you're juggling a lot of things, and I tend to have that as part of my personality. And then there are things closer inside, or closer inside, which is represented by this box, including, I like to be sort of playful, this is from my daughter from Peru, it's sort of a finger puppet. And Occasionally I'm slow to make up my mind, so I have a little turtle to represent that. I do love nature. I love being part of nature and observing nature. It's this little flower. I try to seek joy and exploration and excitement in all the things that I do. So this is a little, it's fake gold, but it looks like gold. It's got a little man on being a prospector. I'm complicated. So I have this that is all tangled up. Sometimes it can get straightened out, not always. I can be really stubborn. So I have this, this clip. Once you clip it on, it doesn't let go easily. That's not always good. I have fears about the world and the destiny of our society, so I've got a little ghost here. Sometimes I can be annoying and pesky. I have a little house fly. I have a philosophical side. I'm always contemplating the meaning of things, so I have this sort of little mandala, or sort of a, I suppose, an Asian emblem. And because I've lived a fairly long life already, I'm, I'm constantly reflecting on my own past and what, what time is doing to me and to other people. So I have my great-grandfather's railroad pocket watch. And then I also tend to have sort of a, a playful side to me. This was something I wrote when I was in first grade to my sister. Said I left it by her bed at night. It says, Peggy, how are you? I am Zorro. Tonight, be awake, because I will come and take you to Colorado. Remember, be awake all night. Your friend is Zorro. And then I have a true my picture of Zorro on the other side. <laughs> so that is my perceived self. And then my desired self is in this cap that says volunteers. Because the kind of person I'd really like to be is someone who, who helps others. Sort of like what Oscar was saying, the opportunity to give people a helping hand. Inside that I have this glass star, which came from West Virginia. I like it because it's, it's transparent. And what I would like to be is transparent. I would like 
the way that I behave to be the way that I really am so that people don't have to doubt or question or wonder is, is he being truthful. And it's also very hard and solid. I like to be firm and unchanging in that sense. Then I have some binoculars here which represent vision. I'd like to be a visionary. I'd like to be someone who can foresee what the world is going to be like and, and of course to try to help direct it in ways that I feel are important. I have two buttons from 1969 when I marched on Washington with about 500,000 other people. One says how many more? It was a question about war. And the other one says, if you are not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. It was by Eldridge Cleaver. Both of those ideas have, have been with me, and I want to, I desire to live up to them. And then finally, I have a little statue of Buddha, of the Buddha, because one of my desires is to be calm and tranquil and at peace with the world and myself and, and other people, and also to try to bring peace to other people. I don't think all of the, none of these things is edible, so it wouldn't really help at a picnic. However, I hope at least I've been able to provide you with some food for thought in talking about my perceived self, my presenting self, and my desired self. Let you go.